welcome back to all the things today I have three crock pot recipes to share with you uh, we're doing a Cajun chicken Alfredo a low country boil and a Fiesta Ranch chicken okay first up we have our Cajun chicken Alfredo um, this one six people had dinner that night and we ended up voting this one a eight out of ten overall um, you know, people scored differently, but it averaged an 8 out of 10, and consistently everybody said it would have been more than an 8 if it had not been as watery. And it wasn't real watery, but a little. So if you make this one, when you get to the part where you add your pasta in and it calls to add in some more water, I probably wouldn't add the extra water when we do the pasta. But other than that, this one's delicious. Let's get started. Okay, we're about to make our Cajun chicken Alfredo, and we need this olive oil, garlic powder, salt, and pepper to season our chicken breast with and sear it first. That's optional, but the recipe says it does make a difference, so I'm going to do it. We need chicken broth. We need Cajun seasoning. We need a pound of sausage. We need Parmesan cheese, half a stick of butter, a pound of chicken breast, um, heavy whipping cream, a pound of noodles, some, it says garlic cloves. I have this minced garlic and that's what I'm gonna do instead. And then um, we do need some hot water later on in the recipe, but to get started, we don't need it. So we'll need that too. That's everything we're gonna need. And so we will get started with it. Okay, to get started, I went ahead and drizzled my pan with some olive oil. And now we're just going to season our chicken breast so that we can sear that. And I've got my pan, I've got my oil heating up. Now we're just gonna do some salt and pepper and garlic powder on both sides. Okay, now we're gonna sear it in our pan. We are not trying to cook this, we're just going to sear it um, for the outside, so like a minute on each side. So I'm just gonna get these into here. Okay, so I got them all four in there and they're on medium heat and I'm gonna do one minute and then I'm gonna flip them and do one minute. We're going to do a minute on this side, and then we're just going to put our chicken and our juices from it down into our pot pot. All right, we got our chicken here. Let's put them down in here. This is, um, it's, the recipe calls for about a pound of chicken, and this is uh, about a pound, but it's two breast that I've cut in half so I, mean, I have four pieces here but it's really just two chicken breast okay now we'll just start putting in all of our stuff the recipe calls for four cups of chicken broth these two cans are going to give me just under four cups I'm going to be short by just a little uh, just under half a cup short so I'm just going to add half a cup of water. It's fine. I'm, I just don't want to open another can and waste it. Now, this is where we add in, we cut this into pieces and add it in here, but I'm not going to yet. I'm actually going to hold mine out and just let people that like sausage add it to theirs. But this is where you also go ahead and cut this into pieces and just add it right in here right now and cook it all day long with everything else. We need three cups of heavy whipping cream. We need half a stick of butter, four tablespoons. Okay, 
We need two tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. And then we need two cloves of garlic. I'm not going to, I promise you what I use won't be two cloves. It'll be more than that. Um, we like garlic and I'm just gonna dump in two of these spoonfuls. All right, and I'm just gonna kind of mix that around a little bit. Now, all we do is put this in the crock pot on low for four hours. And then after four hours, then we will add our pasta. So we do not put our pasta or our Parmesan cheese in yet. We do that later. But again, this is where you would already have your sausage in here. Um, but I'm just gonna wait and do that later on. Okay, I have my crock pot on low and I'm just gonna put the lid on it and then we will come back in four hours when it's time to add our pasta and our cheese and we'll take our chicken out and cut that up and put it back. It has been about, I just got home from work and I started this on my lunch break at about 12.45 I turned it on low. So it has been a little more than four hours, about four hours and 15 minutes. Um, Smells really good. Okay, so it says now we take our chicken out and put it to the side to, uh, we take our chicken out and put it to the side to cut, to cool and cut. And now we're gonna add in our box of pasta and half a cup of hot water. Okay, so I've got my chicken over here. I'm gonna cut that up uh, in a minute. But now we're gonna add in our box of pasta. All right, I have half a cup of hot water. I'm gonna go with my whole box of, I chose Boto, but it says any pasta that, any bite-sized pasta that you want to use. I'm just gonna give it a stir. We're gonna put the lid back on it. And then in 30 minutes, it's supposed to be done cooking uh, the pasta. And then we will add back in our sliced chicken breast. So we will see. I forgot to tell y'all that when you add your pasta in, um, you do turn it to high for that 30 minutes instead of keeping it on low. Okay, well, we're waiting for the pasta to cook. I'm just gonna, um, Cut up my, just slice up my chicken breast. Well, it says to slice it. And in the picture, it looked like slices, but uh, it's just shredding as I touch it. So it's, it's just really tender. Um, yeah, I don't know how much cutting I can really do. Much slicing, it's more of shredding, but I mean, it's fine, it'll still taste the same. Okay, wait for our pasta to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my sausage up and then remember this would have been in our uh, slow cooker all day today and I would have no need to do this step right now if I had put it in with everything else. But I'm not going to because I know that half the people eating tonight would prefer there not be sausage in their food. So. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this up and I'm gonna just throw it in the skillet to heat it up a little bit. Um, it's actually already fully cooked, so I'm just gonna throw it in there to heat it up a little bit and then um, once it's heated, I'll just leave it to the side for people to toss into theirs if they do want it. sausage over here cooked ready for whoever wants to put that on theirs I just checked my pasta it's tender so now it's time for us to add in two cups of shredded Parmesan cheese this is a cup and a half but um, I have about half a cup of this mozzarella so uh, even though it's not Parmesan that's what we'll use them 
If you've been here long, then you know that I don't follow a recipe ever. That was the Parmesan, and now I'm gonna throw in the rest of this mozzarella. And just stir that around. Okay, now we're gonna add in our chicken. And we'll just give all this a good stir. And then we're going to put the lid back on it to let the cheese melt for five minutes and then we are ready to eat. And there is our chicken, Cajun chicken Alfredo. And I'm just serving it with a piece of five cheese garlic toast and some broccoli and cauliflower. And that will be our dinner for tonight. Next up is our low country boil. Uh, we had eight people eat dinner this night and it consistently received eight and a half out of 10. Um, the only thing that anybody felt like would have made it any better would have been maybe a little more seasoning. Um, it did have good seasoning, but that was the consistent thing for everybody on this one was just a little bit more seasoning. Other than that, we wouldn't have changed anything on this one. Okay, for this crock pot meal, we are going to make a low country boil. We're going to need corn, which it says we're gonna cut into threes. Um, you need some andouille sausage, fresh squeezed lemon juice, a medium onion, some Old Bay seasoning, a pound and a half of red potatoes. Um, it calls for garlic cloves, but I'm just gonna use this minced garlic. And two pounds of shrimp. I did order smaller shrimp, but I did it on a grocery pickup and they substitute with this larger one. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. I just would think that it would have been better with the smaller shrimp in there, um, but we will get started. Okay, so the first thing I've done is I did go ahead and wash all of my potatoes and I'm just gonna cut, um, I'm just gonna cut everything in half and get it ready. I am actually doing this the night before um, because this crock pot meal doesn't cook a long time, which means I'm gonna put it together on my lunch break tomorrow. So to save me time during my lunch break, I'm gonna go ahead and do all of this work tonight. And then all I'm gonna do is just cover these with water and put them in the fridge and that'll keep them from turning brown. So we'll cut all these and then um, we're also gonna go ahead and cut up our sausage and get our onion uh, diced up and ready. Okay. I'm just gonna cover this with water, put them in the fridge and they will be fine tomorrow. They won't be brown, you'll see. Now we're gonna cut our sausage. And it's not like this takes much time or anything. And once we get it all cut, all we're gonna do is just dump it in the crock pot. But um, because I'm doing it on my lunch break, I'm going to uh, just make, take as much time tonight as I can to do these things. Um, if it was a meal that cooked all day, like eight hours, I would just get up just a few minutes earlier in the morning and get it started. Cut up in little pieces. Okay, next we're gonna do our onion. And it says just to do some wedges, so. Just 
Okay, we'll put this in a container. And in the morning, uh, well, no, not in the morning, tomorrow afternoon, we're ready to get it all started. Uh, that's already ready for us to go and it's just uh, make it a little bit faster for me. We've got six cups of water here and it says to add two tablespoons of lemon juice and a quarter cup of Old Bay seasoning. And then we just whisk that together. And then uh, we start putting stuff in our crock pot. Okay, now it says we put in our potatoes and our onions. Our garlic. I'll have the recipe link below. I think it said half a head of garlic. Um, I'm just gonna throw some in here. I have this minced garlic and I'm just gonna put some in. All right, now we pour over our mixture of our water, Old Bay, lemon juice. Uh, if you're doing the hot sauce from the recipe, you mix it in with this too. I'm not gonna do hot sauce. We're having family dinner tonight. A lot of people will be eating, and I know a couple of them would be probably sensitive to the hot sauce, so I'm just gonna leave that out. Okay, now we just turn it on the low for four hours. Put the lid on it, and then we'll come back in four hours and do the next step. Uh, this is also where you put in two bay leaves. Hold on, let me do that. Okay, I think I left these out of the uh, ingredients I filmed a minute ago. So, it does say two bay leaves, and I would say that if you don't put them in there that it probably doesn't matter, but I do have some on hand, so we will stick two in there. Okay, now we come back in four hours. Okay, um, just got home from work. It's been there for about uh, four and a half hours. It's been cooking probably closer to five hours now. And I'm gonna pull these two bay leaves out and then we're gonna add in our sausage and our corn. Uh, we cut our corn, we need to cut our corn down into thirds and we're gonna put in our sausage that we sliced already and then we cover it for 30 minutes and then we come back and add the shrimp. We pull the corn out and add the shrimp. I've got my corn broken down into thirds. I'm just going to put all of that into the crock pot and then we'll just dump in our sausage that we cut up last night. We can go ahead and do that now. Just pull that in there. And we'll put in our Now we give it a stir. Put our lid on. Now we come back again in 30 minutes and we'll take the corn out and add the shrimp in. And I forgot to tell you that we need to move it to high for these 30 minutes, for these last 30 minutes that we're cooking it. And then we leave it on high too when we do the shrimp part. Okay, it's been cooking for about 30, 35 minutes. So now we're gonna take all the corn out and it says to keep it warm. So I'm just gonna put it in the oven on low or on keep warm. And then we add in all of our shrimp. Okay, I got all my shrimp in here and it says we cook it for like 10 to 20 minutes and we just stir it um, every few minutes and we're just cooking it until the shrimp is pink because um, we don't want to overcook it because then it would be, you know, chewy. So I'm going to put the lid on it and then I'm going to check it in about 10 minutes, stir it around some, check it again, and I'll let you know. Okay, here it is. Here is our low country boil. We're going to get it on some plates and enjoy it. Um, the shrimp did end up taking about 35 minutes to cook. Um, it took a little longer than what my recipe had, but also my shrimp was still um partially frozen when i put it in there so if you have your shrimp all the way thawed i don't think it would take as long uh, but i hope it's good last up we have our fiesta chicken 
Um, this one we have been making, the other two recipes were a first for us to try. Um, this one, I don't even have a recipe for, for a link. Um, a coworker told me about it a couple years back and I've just been making it that way ever since. But uh, this one's really good and it's really good to serve in like a, um, we, we had it over uh, tortilla chips, but you can have it over, you could have it in a taco shell or over rice or something like that. It's really good. Um, the only thing that I would do differently with this one is I would add in maybe some shredded cheese also. Uh, we, we just, I usually sprinkle some shredded cheese on at the end, but I think it would be good to put it also um, in the pot. You need about a pound of chicken. You're gonna need a can of Rotel. This is just the Great Value brand. You're going to need a can of corn, a can of black beans, which we're going to drain. We're gonna drain the corn and we're gonna drain and rinse the black beans. A block of cream cheese and a packet of this Fiesta Ranch dip mix. Okay, I put my chicken down in here and next all we're gonna do is just sprinkle our mix all over it. This one is so easy y'all. Okay, now we're gonna pour on our can of Diced Rotel, which we did not drain. Our can of corn, which we did drain. Our black beans that are rinsed and drained. And then all we do is put a block of cream cheese on top. Okay, that is it. Now all we do is cook this on low for four, no, we cook this on low for six to eight hours or high for four hours. So we're just gonna go with low and put our lid on it and then we'll come back uh, when it's done, stir it and get it served up. Here's what it looks like after it's been cooking all day, and I'm just going to get down to my chicken and shred that up a little bit, mix it all together, and then I'll get it out and put it on a plate, and I'll show you what it looks like when um, we serve it. Here it is on a plate with some chips, um, but like I was saying before, you can also serve this um, over rice or with rice or also in like a taco shell or any way you want to, but all those ways are good. I'm just going to have it this way today. And that was our three crock pot recipes. If you enjoy these videos, I hope you will stick around and subscribe. We thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.